beautiful day. It's about a week later. This is still not running. I have some parts, that which I hope will fix it, but there's also another thing that I've found online doing research that I feel like is probably my issue. Uh, called Vapor Lock, I believe. It's apparently pretty common in these old cars, but before I even talk about that, I've got a couple parts here. Distributor cap, distributor rotor, and a cast sensor, or crank angle sensor. Um, this goes under all of that stuff inside of the distributor. So I've seen that this could be the culprit of the issue I'm having, being that it starts for a little while, and then it'll turn off by itself and then it doesn't start. Um, and then vapor lock is the other thing that I've recently sort of seen. I had a chance, or I haven't had the parts to work on it for about a week. So I just want to even see if it cranks right now. So I haven't done anything to it. Just got to the shop. Nope, still doing the same thing. Change these parts, I suppose. <laughs> All right, so right here's the distributor. Obviously, you gotta take this off, take the rotor off, and then the cap sensor's under there. And shout out to a different channel called The Z Garage. I mean, he's way bigger than me. So if in reality, I need a shout out from him, but he's the only reason that I even knew about that cast sensor. Um, apparently, it can be kind of bad on these Zs. So um, yeah, gotta take this off, make sure I don't mix any of these. <laughs> coils up all right so I got this half of the coils on the new one I'm gonna leave these on the other side just so that I know where they go until I get this rotor changed and then I'll switch over to those other ones So, just wanted to show you guys, if the camera will focus, this is the old one. The rotor, I got the rotor off. This is how the old rotor looks, a bit corroded, the camera will not focus for some reason. You can see it's real brown compared to the new one, nice and shiny. <clears throat> but before I get to the new one, the cast sensor, I believe is just under these two little Phillips heads, and then I can change that, so I gotta take those two off. Plate is off. Okay. So, got that plate off. Now that's the cast sensor. This this thing. Under this, this disc I have to keep. Uh, somehow. <laughs> and I think I have to place it down a certain way, so I gotta be real careful about this disc here. But, um, yeah, this is this little sensor right there is what I'm changing. And then the rest of the new distributor parts can go on. out there but it's alive they're idling kind of higher than before but it's running and hasn't shut off it's been a good like five ten minutes so i'm gonna try to make it home <laughs> hopefully i'll make it I'm almost home <laughs> it's running fucking great it actually feels way more responsive too which i wasn't expecting Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
fuck yeah. I right, made it here, but this is a real test. If it starts again. Oof. Let's go, it started fast as hell. It is now Wednesday, so Nissan's home. Obviously, I've been driving it to work. The past three days of the day that I fixed this was actually Saturday. So it's been four days of me going to work and back. It's been running good, so I think it's safe to say that it's at least temporarily fixed, if not just fixed in general. Uh, also, tomorrow, Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving if you're watching this tomorrow, or happy holidays in general if you're watching it around that time. I don't even know when I'm gonna edit this and get it out, but the reason I'm recording is other than to show you that the car's running good after changing that distributor cap and whatever. Yes, I got a package here. Spoiler that I've been waiting on for like months. So you see it there. It's uh, three pieces. It's the main middle piece and then the two to go on the sides. But I just want to slap it up there and just see how she looks, clearly I gotta paint it. And it probably needs a lot of body work, honestly, because it's uh, from this company called JP Fiberglass. And they don't have the best reputation when it comes to quality. Well, I don't know, I don't think there's a way for me to set it on here and walk away and give you guys a look, or even myself a look. Um, Again, it's got a crack right there. Whether that happened in shipping or whatever, uh, there's no way. Oh, it's kind of on there. Hopefully it doesn't fall and bust in half. But the side pieces aren't on there, which obviously they'll cover, you know, here. But there's a rough look at it. It's a little taller than what I was expecting and like angled up. I thought it was gonna kind of angle more that way. This looks like more of a... <laughs> uh drop in aerodynamics than anything else but i got it for the looks anyway it's not for speed or whatever i believe that's how it's supposed to go on there <laughs> so yeah just want to show you guys this because i've been waiting on it for a while but like i said it needs a lot of work there's another crack in it right there you can see so i'll have to do some body work to it as well as obviously painting it to match the car probably do it in black because i do want a two-tone the car black on the bottom and then i'm either gonna keep it white or go look at like a grayish or go like a dark gray on top and then just black on the bottom sort of the old school two-tone that a lot of people do on these <coughs> so spoiler will probably be black but just want to give you all a look at that now probably edit this together and end on this since i mean the car is running so that's kind of the end of that saga and then we got a little bit of good news with the spoiler coming in to finish it up so uh i love the car still even though it's been giving me a little bit of trouble lately but that's to be expected when you buy a car that's like 40 years old or however old it is <laughs> but anyhow um once again i'm shooting this on wednesday so tomorrow thanksgiving happy thanksgiving or happy holidays be sure to like and subscribe to see more Nissan stuff or car stuff or whatever. And um, yeah, 